Hi everybody, Chris Coleman here, certified hand therapist for helpforthehand.com, helpforthelbow.com, and today we are here to talk about a golfer's elbow. Uh, that's a condition that occurs on the inside or the medial side of the elbow, and there's soreness and pain there, uh, usually with activity and certainly post-activity. Now, I'm not quite sure why they call this golfer's elbow. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, and I've never treated a golfer for this condition. Um, people who have this condition, I have heard golf, but it's not because they went out um, and had a, a weekend with their buddies and, and played, you know, 72 holes or, or anything like that and came home with a sore elbow. Uh, so I'm not sure why we call it that, but, um, but they do. Um, you know, maybe it's from being on the 19th hole with your buddies and doing a lot of this elbow work. I don't know why they call it that. Um, but what it is, is scientifically it's called um, medial epicondylitis. So on your elbow, quick anatomy lesson is you have a medial side, you have a lateral side. Lateral side, they talk about tennis elbow, but on the medial side, right on that epicondyle, the point of your elbow, where the muscles come out that bend your wrist and they bend your fingers, so when we hold things, um, it gets sore and irritated. And often it's tender right there when you push on that point of that elbow. It gets tender there, and it's tender when you grip things or when you lift things um, as you try and not have your wrist bend back and as you force things with your fingers and with your grip, you get pain up here. Now, associated with that pain, sometimes you get some, ul some ulnar nerve issues, which that ulnar nerve, that funny bone nerve that runs right through there, gets crowded because of the swelling and the soreness from the muscles that are irritated in the, in the golfer's elbow or medial epicondylitis, and your fingers go numb. So those two things concurrently often happen together, which came first, the chicken or the egg, is, is unknown in many cases. But basically the symptoms are you get pain and soreness uh, anytime you do your gripping activities or lifting things or have things in your hand, and it can be sore and painful. So a couple things you can do right out of the gate. Obviously I love ice. Ice is great 10 minutes at a time. Take a frozen bag of peas or, or an ice pack, put it in a thin dish towel or in a t-shirt, and wrap it right along the inside of that arm uh, for 10, 15 minutes at a time, that's going to help with some of the inflammation and some of the soreness. Also, a couple stretches that I really like before you do any type of activity, you know, before you go golfing if, for that or anything you do, if you're going to go out in the garden, if you're going to go ahead and, um, and lift heavy things and do some laboring work or anything, is to place your arm straight in front of you, gently push down on that wrist, stretch all those muscles on the top of your forearm, and then reach into the palm, stretch that back, and you're going to stretch all the muscles on the undersurface of your elbow. When you stretch the top muscles, they're going to stretch the muscles that um, are off of the lateral epicondyle and up here. And when you come back like this with the wrist, it's going to stretch all the muscles that are at the medial epicondyle on the bottom part of your forearm. A couple of those nice, easy, gentle stretches will warm the tissue up, get some blood flow into it, so you're much less likely to disrupt that tissue. Runners will stretch before they run, so they don't yank a hamstring or a quad. It's the same thing. We need to stretch the upper extremity before we do activity. So, um, if you have any of these problems or conditions and want to learn more about this, please go to the website, helpforthehand.com. You can also go to helpforthelbow.com, and that will direct you to helpforthehand.com. Um, there's a, a post up there, a little more about the condition, shows you a picture so you get a pretty good idea about what, what's going on. Uh, any other hand or elbow conditions you want to check out too, there's a number of posts there that can give you some insight to that stuff too. So, while you're out there on the links, I hope you shoot well. I hope you don't chili dip or uh, shank anything while you're out there because of a golfer's elbow. And if you do, you now you have a convenient excuse that you can, you can tell your buddies and tell your friends that that's maybe why. Maybe you can get some strokes on each side for something like that. All right, take care. Talk to you next time.